coming to you live and direct from Chicago, Illinois. What's up, my subscribers? How y'all doing? Welcome to another little short little video. Uh, you know, currently I'm just walking down the street, currently on my lunch break. And I got some news for y'all. I got some information I want to share with y'all. So please, you know, sit back, relax, uh, and, and really open your minds up to what I'm gonna kick to y'all real quick. All right, so. As y'all all know, if you follow my social media, my Instagram is something I post on all the time. You know, with all my personal shit, all my, you know, cool ass photos, me traveling. You know, that's basically how I promote my YouTube. Um, it's just an overall thing for me. So at the end of the day, um, what I really want to get y'all to understand is that I have decided to make an executive decision in my life and I'm going to be, well, if you hadn't noticed on my Instagram, if you haven't been following me, go ahead and follow me right now. Um, it's at Mikey B Low Key, um, M I K E Y B E L O W K E Y. So yeah, go ahead and follow me at Mikey B Low Key. But if you haven't, if you don't follow me, um, if you follow me already, you basically would have saw that um, I announced where I'm going to be moving um, for the upcoming year. So after a lot of you know, going back and forth between LA, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. Um, I finally came down with my choice and I'm basically gonna be moving come next year. I'm gonna be moving, well not next year, but in about two days, I'm gonna be moving officially to Phoenix, Arizona. New and improved, it's October 15th right now. It's about... Cannon. Well, I'm still on Chicago time, but if y'all just seen, that was my last time in Chicago. Um, let me just bring y'all up to speed. This is basically what happened. This is how I got down here. I'm, if you didn't know, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I just moved here about a month ago, um, and I feel like I've been here like six months. But ultimately, yeah, I've been here. Um, new city, new apartment. I'm in a new crib. I'll give y'all a tour of this you know, soon down the line, you know what I'm saying? I'm still getting things together. Um, I mean, it's looking pretty good right now. I'm very excited about it, but I'll give y'all a, you know, a little, a little rundown of how the crib look later. But anyway, yeah, just getting down here was crazy. Moved all the way here from Chicago, about 1,700 miles, man, like 26 hours. I drove, so I'm just, the purpose of this video is just kind of, you know, bring y'all up to speed of my story on that. So, um, go backwards and you're looking at it's a it's like our august something last few days i'm packing up stuff and it basically came to my attention that you know i put my two weeks in i you know i put my two weeks in in my job that day was crazy um as soon as my boss saw you know that 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 letter in my hand you know i had to let him know like you know i had to move forward and uh so i put my two weeks in you know i wanted to get my two weeks in whatever and so the moving day came up and up. You know, I, I want to be down here by September. So I moved officially around September 1st, I believe. But throughout that whole situation, it's crazy because I decided to drive, okay? Because it was the cheapest option for me. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I, I don't regret driving. You know, it was a great experience for me. It really taught me some things. I actually was with my mom and my dog. So I rented a big ass, so here, here's what happened. My last day at work, I'm all packed up. You know, I got the crib packed up. I got my room packed up back in my old place. You know, you OG YouTube subscribers. Um, you know, you know how my old crib looked. I used to, you know, work, live with my brother. But, so I'm all packed up. I get home, I'm like, you know, okay. I decide that last day at work, my last day at work was August 30th. Okay, I got off at five. So I went to go pick up a rental big old Dodge Caravan and I drove it to the crib and I packed up like so many U-Haul boxes, shoes, everything. Now, you know, grant you, I got rid of a lot of stuff because I was moving. So putting it in the car was not a, not that hard, but I was the only one doing it. So it was kind of hard. So anyway, I did all that. It's about seven o'clock. I'm like, look, okay, we leaving at night. So uh, fortunately my mom was able be the one that you know go down there with me um you know i had asked a couple friends and everything but you know i was gonna fly but you know that's just 
doing all that shipping my stuff it just it just was gonna be you know so i just was like let me just pack up the car and drive so me and my mom I picked up my mom from the crib you know shout out to my mom though like shout out to my mom because she just shout out to my mom i'm not gonna go too in detail but shout out to her man like mom if you watching this shout out to you you the real mvp because me i could not have done that without you like seriously it's like for real for real so i do appreciate you mom if you watching this but anyway we got in that car and it's like nine o'clock at night and we drive like okay, we hit the road you know full force um 26 hours and you know my goal was to get here we left friday night we got here saturday night saturday night so i drove damn near the whole way my mom only drove like three hours but i drove damn the whole way i was seeing stuff like you talk about like being delusional like we drove through st louis um oklahoma new mexico you like it's it was crazy cross country like no joke cross country driving is no joke for real like i was seeing stars but through the grace of god we got here saturday night you know what i'm saying i had everything i had my dog and you know it was an empty crib and luckily you know my, my crib is pretty big so i let my mom you know i didn't have a bed or nothing so we just dug it out she slept on the air mattress and i slept on the floor just shout out to her like you know and then yeah she left the next morning I took her to the airport and i broke down man i broke down because it was real after that like i was really in phoenix and so i've been here and the adjustment was crazy you know that whole transition was just wild um i will tell you this If you ever in your life doubted yourself, do not. Okay, I repeat, do not. I contemplated moving like about two years ago. And you know, you can't always decide where you, what, what's gonna happen in your life. However, when I decided I wanted to move here, like it was between Vegas, Phoenix, and LA. Obviously we all know LA is overrated. It's crowded you know what i'm saying expensive whatever california in general is just expensive crazy so you know that i kind of thought about that i was like you know i'm these are my building years i'm in my early like i'm in my kind of like 20 so these are the building years i don't want do i really want to you know just to live in la and have the hype do i really want to put myself in a financial predicament right now so i have to think about that okay so i was making good money in chicago making real good money and you know i saw i went to vegas I was like, okay, I, I could live here. But then I just thought about it, like the nightlife, all that, I would've got sucked into that, man. Like, I didn't think that was conducive to my growth as a young man and, and, and the direction I wanted to go in this point of my life. So I went to Phoenix a couple times. I, I think I visited in like December and a couple other times and it was beautiful. I'm in December, I'm in a pool in December. You know what I'm saying? Just warm as hell, you know what I'm saying? Get a little cold. But, warm as hell at the end of the day so i came here a couple more times and lo and behold i decided to move here so um i just wanted to tell y'all this like you know the journey getting down here like i spent so much money but you know like if you if you, you only live one life you know what i'm saying like i didn't want to continue to live this what if what if what if what if i was in chicago i was miserable you know it ain't always about how much money you make. Like, I was making real good money in Chicago. My family there, you know, my friends, everything I'm familiar with. Like, it was just a rough, rough time for me. You know, my car had broke down. My transmission went out. So, I didn't have a car this past summer in Chicago. Like, you know, just just crazy. And I went through it, man. So, like, you know, I felt every emotion in this whole transition. And I'm glad I did it because I've seen myself grow in these last couple months more than I've grown ever. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I it, I really have grown. I've only been here a month and a half and I've had to do so much that I didn't have to do back in Chicago. Like I've had to, I bought myself a car, um, you know, uh, why, like just getting everything settled. You know what I'm saying? Getting everything together. And I'm gonna show y'all how it's all coming together in another video. But I do appreciate y'all watching. 
know what I'm saying? This is my story, and you know, if if I, I can leave you with anything else, is just believe. You know what I'm saying? Set your mind to it. Continue to just continue to think about it. I, that's all I did was think about moving. I put myself in that mind frame every day. The law of attraction is real. You can do it. I knew exactly how, I, what place I wanted to live in, like what kind of apartment I wanted to live in. I knew what kind of environment I wanted to live in. I knew, you know what I'm saying? I just put everything in my head. I literally pieced it together, piece by piece. And I continued to focus on it. And I just stayed humble myself. I prayed and I just, just, just did what I had to do, discipline myself. And, and it worked out for me, you know what I'm saying? And I think it could work out for you too. So if you ever, if you got something you're dealing with right now, if you're thinking about quitting your job or, you know, driving and going to a new city, like just do it, just do it. Especially if you're young, just do it, man. Because you're gonna look back and you're gonna think about it and you're gonna be like, damn, I should have did that. You know what I'm saying? I should have took that job. I should have, you know, asked that girl out. I should have drove across the country to this new place. I should have took that trip. You know what I'm saying? so many so many possibilities you know what i'm saying create your own reality that's what i'm really that's what's really been the theme of my life now create your own reality but it's real real y'all i'm gonna go ahead and uh finish you know what i'm saying my little even expect more videos coming soon i know i've been gone man but you know moving was just crazy i'm finally here now so you know things are gonna be looking up so please rock with me continue to rock with me if you're new here shout out you know what i'm saying smash that like button subscribe to my channel all you og people i love y'all continue to support me we, we in this together you know what i'm saying mikey b low key we out here you know what i'm saying peace